my mindset was to get her to the hospital as fast as I possibly can. Nothing else mattered. Okay, baby. There were a few like 35, 45 mile an hour zones that I, I just cooked through. I mean, like 60, 70, sometimes 80, um, without a problem. I got in behind him, we're going 85 in a 35. The part of me that would usually tell me to slow down, I just ignored it. You know, for a little bit there, I thought, ooh, I lost him. Then, uh, you know, a few miles down the road, I could see her in my, my rear view mirror again. And then I realized, hey, you're not gonna give up. I should probably pull over. Driver, exit the vehicle with your hands up. My hands wife! Up. My wife! Step to the back of the vehicle, place your hands on the trunk. My wife, she's pregnant. We have to get to the hospital. Her water just broke. We have to get her to the hospital. Come on, over here. Sometimes people pull things over on you, but this guy, I had that gut instinct and we're taught to follow that gut instinct, and I knew he was telling the truth. Decatur, Six County, have a vehicle pulled over, 59 North. Man, it's okay. Lady, her water has broke. Need to come forward, do you want me to turn out your first responders? Need an ambulance and EMTs at the scene. It's okay. Make sure she's okay. okay. Turn around and hold her hand. Okay. And I assured Amanda that I knew what she was going through, and she seemed to put her trust in me and her faith. And, and knew that I, I would take care of that situation. It's okay. Okay, hold her hand and breathe. Yeah. Okay, breathe with her. Okay, yeah. breathe with yeah. your way through. We've got an ambulance on the way, okay? As the baby emerged, Officer Yates saw that the umbilical cord was wrapped around the baby's neck. Okay, don't push through this next contraction, okay? I've got to clear the cord around the neck. Okay, don't push, don't push. Breathe your way through it. I knew what to do because of my own experiences. We had to make sure that that cord was unwrapped around the baby's neck. <laughs> Officer Yates unwrapped the cord, freeing the baby's airway. Oh, then she quickly bundled the boy up to ensure he didn't lose too much body heat. From the time she pulled us over to the time that Gabriel was born was only two minutes. <laughs> When I heard that baby cry for the first time after I got in suction, it was, you know, I knew we were good. I knew everything was gonna be all right. It was the most surreal moment of my life. It was miraculous. I mean, this baby came out by the side of the road all by himself. I mean, it was, it was pretty neat. Firefighters arrived less than two minutes after Gabriel Lyman was born. I never noticed the fireman coming up behind me. When the ambulance showed up, it was a big sigh of relief. He didn't have any complications from the delivery. There wasn't anything after the fact that was wrong with him. Just perfect, perfect little baby. Paramedics loaded Amanda and the baby into the ambulance. Jeannie and I are really good friends now. She's kind of, you know, adopted our little family and we've, we've done the same with her. While we see so much bad in law enforcement, you know, we see life taken every day, but to see life given on duty is something different for a police officer and, and I'm glad I got to experience that.